Guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we've got another Nirvana lesson that we're gonna now be able to check off the list. Uh, so let's zoom in and break this one down. Here we go. So I've got a clean tone on my amp, and I'm using a Big Muff Pie to get that raunchy distortion. <laughs> So it's a B power chord, which would be 2nd fret, 4th fret, and then you can do pinky on the 4th fret of the G as well. Then it's a G power chord, and I was looking at live footage, and it looks like he's doing this a lot on the G chord. It's the exact same notes as this G chord. So you could do either if you're more used to a regular power chord, but to do this one, you just put your middle finger on that third fret of the low E and you let it mute the A string. And then you just strum it over to the open G. Or you could get the B in there even with the distortion. So B power chord, G, and then C power chord. It's the exact same thing as B up a half step. So three, five, five. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. You can kind of think of that swingy arm. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So what happens on the last one, dun, 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 dun. so it gets to that C chord and then it goes into the chorus, which I'm going to show you, but there's a little, there's lots of noise going on, obviously. It's grungy sounding, but there's a quick and I got, and, and on those lyrics, um, it's an A, and I got, it's just really quick. And if you don't hit it, it still sounds good. So, in other words, it's very quick. And I got this. So it's an E. And it's E major, but you can mute that G to get an E power chord. Either one's going to work. Power chords are a little, sometimes a better choice with the lots of distortion. Uh, a. D, and then that, and then G, however you want to play G, but you can play that same G. E, A, D, G, E, A, D, G, E, A, D, G, A power chord, A. So this is the last part.
then you got to grab four of the low E, and then three. And there's, there's some noise going on there. A, and then on that fourth of the E, it's basically getting that A and D in there and then becoming the G with those same open. You know, all of a sudden it sounds resolved. And it's not supposed to be clean guitar like that, right? So I'll turn this thing on and uh, listen to that last part. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thanks again for hanging out and supporting Marty Music. Uh, you can leave your requests in the comments below. I hope you subscribe if you haven't yet. And I uh, hope to see you again soon. See you later. <laughs>